What's up you guys, it's been Sanity, and welcome to the first episode of Broke Boy Kitchen. The show that teaches all you broke boys and broke girls how to cook cheap and easy meals. Bro, 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 broke, broke boys and broke girls. Now, growing up, my family and I, we definitely didn't have a lot of money. And when I got a little bit older, when I got to college, I really didn't have much money because I was paying bills, I was paying for rent, I was paying for college tuition. Um, so sometimes my, my funds were scarce. Sometimes I would have nothing in the refrigerator. There were times when I'd go out to use my friends and I just didn't have money to, to buy a meal. And I know a lot of people with similar situations, people that literally like lived off top ramen for years. So this series isn't intended to give you like gourmet cooking ideas, but it's again to help you guys start from some basic stuff and make sure you guys are eating well. Today we're gonna be making oatmeal. Oatmeal is something that is pretty easy to make, it's pretty affordable, and for breakfast, it's something that is pretty good for you. It has a lot of fiber, it's gonna make you poop like crazy, and uh, overall, give you some energy to kickstart your day. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so to make things easy today, I have a rice cooker. If you guys have never cooked oatmeal or rice in a rice cooker, then you're sleeping. Um, it is something that is literally like press a button, walk away, and bam, it's done. Today I have this rice cooker made by Tiger. Honestly, you get a cheap rice cooker for like 10 bucks, or if you don't have one, just use a pot and pan and you know do it that way. I like doing it this way because it's literally press a button, walk away, and you know the next morning it's done. You don't have to tend to it. The other one you do have to actually watch, okay? We are gonna start off with just the basics. Uh, we're gonna make a cup of oatmeal. Toss it in here. On the instructions of this oatmeal, it says to use two cups of water for one cup of oatmeal. Let's just see how that looks like. Sorry you guys, I got some allergies or something. That's why I got the sniffles. So we got our water. And to be honest, I'm measuring it just for you guys, but usually I don't measure it. I just kind of eyeball it. I personally like my oatmeal a little bit thinner, not super thick because when it's thick, I like kind of, you know, gag on it. So um, this looks like it's going to be some really thick oatmeal. So let me just add some water. Oops. So that was about four cups of water. And I'm also gonna be adding other stuff, so it's kind of necessary to add a little bit of extra water. Again, test it out and find your preference. Some people like it thicker, some people like it thinner. It's really up to you. If you are feeling super broke, you can just stick with this, you know? You could get some pretty cheap oatmeal. I got that oatmeal from Big Lots, and um, I think it was three bucks for all of this. But this is a better brand. You could buy the cheap brand, it'll cost you like a dollar and you're only gonna use a cup of it. So this is literally like a 10 cent meal so far. So if you're feeling super broke, you can stick with something like this. Um, but if you got a little bit more you know, money to spare, we could actually hook this up a little more. So I got these coconut flakes. These are from Trader Joe's, but you could get any type of coconut flakes um, just to add some flavor. I'm just gonna put a handful to add a little bit more nutritional content. Uh, I like to put seeds or nuts in it. Um, this is sunflower seeds, this is almonds, this is um, pumpkin seeds. Uh, anything can work. Uh, you, Some of them are gonna be cheaper than others, so again, depending on your budget, go from there. I'm just gonna throw a couple handfuls of all of these in there. Depending on your preference, you could also put this stuff in after you cook it. Um, I just, I kind of made a habit of cooking it before because um, just to make things faster. But if you really like the texture of the nuts, you could put it in after. And the last thing again, just to add a little bit of more nutritional content, I have some chia seeds. Bam. Here is what we are looking at. 
And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, insanity, that doesn't look good at all. That looks like birdseed. Well, you're partially right. But again, we're not trying to cook gourmet meals here. We're trying to cook for the quick and easiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and I'm just gonna press cook. And if you guys have ever cooked oatmeal before, you know that once it gets to a certain temperature, it will just overflow. So I prefer to cook it with the lid up. If you cook it with the lid down, you will have an overflow. And depending on your rice cooker, this one only has one seal, so it actually comes out here. And I don't wanna have to clean this up, so I'm gonna just keep this open, okay? And uh, let it cook this way. Um, and if I need to add more water, I can add more water. If it looks kinda nasty, I'll add more stuff. Before we walk away, let's give this a quick little stir. And we'll walk away and we'll come back in like 20 minutes. One thing that you guys need to do is stir your oatmeal, especially if you don't want it lumpy, especially if you don't want some thick chunks of chia seeds since we stuck that chia seeds in there. Um, if you do see them, just smash it up. And uh, yeah, we're almost there. You also don't want to cook it too long because the longer you cook it, the thicker it gets and eventually it'll get to a point where it'll start like crusting on the bottom and burning and we don't want that. While we're waiting, one of the toppings I like putting on this is mango. So uh, you guys could cut whatever fruit that you like. Uh, it doesn't have to be mango. Um, whatever's in season, just make sure you uh, cut it into bite-sized pieces. All right, you guys, we're almost ready to assemble our oatmeal. We have our oatmeal. It looks nice and dandy. It's done cooking. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit. I'm not really that hungry right now. Let's put a little bit in here. Wow. We have our beautiful mangoes. Um, you could put however much you want I'm just gonna put a little bit so it looks nice and pretty. Wow. You can even sprinkle it if you want. And boom, we have breakfast for all week. This is actually a lot. Um, I think this probably will make about at least five bowls, if not more. I mean, usually I make this with my wife and we eat this all week, both of us, so that's like 10 bowls. So depending on how big of a bowl you eat, um, some people eat more in the morning, some people aren't used to eating breakfast, so you know they might eat a little bit less, um, but it should last you all week. It should be like five plus bowls, maybe even more. So um, the one thing I wanted to mention too, and this actually tastes pretty good too, is if you add peanut butter, like fresh, like on top of this, just to add some more nutritional content, you could put some peanut butter in it. And um, it kind of just gives it a little bit of a added crunch, a little bit of added taste um, from the peanuts. And especially if you're looking for additional protein content in your breakfast, this would be your, your, your go-to thing. So again, this has been our first episode of Broke Boy Kitchen. We got our Broke Boy oatmeal with our delicious mangoes. These were in season, so I got like a bunch for really, really cheap. I think I spent like six bucks for a big old box of it. So again, the point of this series is just to show you, you don't need a ton of money to eat. You just need to, you know, spend a little bit of time in the kitchen and just learn some basics, you know? Um, when I was younger, I literally didn't know much. So, uh, you know, I was eating the same thing every day. And um, I, there definitely was points where I found myself not eating enough. And as athletes, as dancers, um, we need to eat a lot. We're burning a ton of calories. We're, we're using muscle. We need to make sure that we eat enough. 
So um, breakfast being one of the most important meals of our day, it's important that we started off on a nice little tip. But again, try it out, see if you like it, see if you could you know, do it throughout the week. Um, and the last tip I have for you, after you're done eating this, you're gonna throw this in the fridge. And when you eat it in the morning, you're gonna wanna throw a little bit of added water in there, microwave it for two minutes, and then you know add your fruit. Um, the reason is, when you stick it in the fridge, it kind of like solidifies a little bit, and it that's when it you really you know it becomes hard to eat. So throw some water in it, microwave it, stir it around a little bit, and you'll be good as new. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you guys leave a comment in the description. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want to learn how to make, or even something that you're struggling with. This has been the first episode of Broke Boy Kitchen. Peace to all the broke boys and broke girls.